Hello everyone, welcome back to Rage Against the Dice, and today we have an unboxing video for you for Blackbeard's Revenge for Oak and Iron by Firelock Games. Now, um, some of you may have heard of Blackbeard, um, apparently he was a big deal um, in the world of piracy, so they decided each should have their own box set. Now, um, you get two ships in this, you get the Sloop Revenge. And you get Queen Anne's Revenge. So you got a real revenge theme going on here. Now these are modified ships to um, kind of the base one. So you've got a modified sloop and looks like a modified sixth rate, modified frigate. So let's open this up and have a look what we've got inside. Like all the boxes, really tight, tight fit. So, what we got? Okay, so straight out the straight out the gate, we've got extra cards to our usual expanse. So we have our two ships. Oh, we've got Captain Steed Bonnet as an additional captain. Um, got some pretty cool rules on them there, and we have Queen Anne's Revenge. I, I was gonna tease you, but we're not gonna. Queen Anne's Revenge is a frigate, um, broadside value of six, which is pretty chunky. Um, crew value of three, and a four two to two. We have um a re a re. Ridiculous 333 three, three. and it's fast so this ship may increase its speed value by one when sailing large so at standard sail we're talking it's sail at speed four which is crazy um so very fast ship here um a unique you can only take the one you got some cool background on blackbeard on the back and we have the Revenge, which is um, very maneuverable, hard to hit, um, also fast, and a broadside value of 5, but it's only got a fortitude of 1, so it is a bit of a glass cannon, um, but 10 points, that's not, not bad in my opinion. Got two um, things, for, we've got wig markers, we've got broadside markers, and our status cards. We have two bases. We've got our indicator arrows. And um, we have ships. So we'll go for the sloop first. This is the sloop revenge. So the astute observers of yet will notice that the this sloop has an extra top sail. Oh. Yep. It's a it's a sloop. Now, uh, other people who may have seen some of the other videos know the difficulties my big sausage fingers have of putting sloops together, just because they are they realistically they do need a little bit of glue in there. Um, so guys, yarn about fastening that to that. These two, and. Go in there, and you'll forgive me if I don't go and assemble everything on this one straight away. But you do get the idea, so I'm just gonna put that mast in there. Yeah. And then you'll attach the other sails after. But you're not here to watch me fiddle on with that with my big sausage fingers. I might get one of my kids to do it because they've got little hands and don't have problems with things like that. And but this is the one we care about. This is even if you're not into pirates, you've heard of the Queen Anne's Revenge. And this is why. Look at that. So she's got a very low line to her. 
Very heavily armed. Gorgeous detail. Look at that crane. Horse figurehead. Ian McShane, nowhere in sight. Yeah, but you can't have everything. Right. This one. This one, my giant sausage hands can manage. Right. So, yes. Look at that. Sleek, deadly, lovely. Looks a lot more like a six it, it does look like a six thread. Um yeah, with the badges on the side. So a lot of guns on that. And this like um coming at just short of sixty mil with the bow spread. Um just shy of seventy. Sixty mil tall, so yeah, it's good size. Good size. That one looks good straight out the box. But I said these are sort of things you know you'll want to paint, and what you will notice is that this is based on historical accounts of what the Queen Anne's Revenge would be, you know. She was a frigate. She wasn't the, the ridiculous pirate of Caribbean. You know, um, like kind of huge stern castle haunted thing of doom. But that that's an aside. Um, you know, it is discernibly different from the sixth rate. And, you know, it's got the kind of French French lines that the the ship should have because she was meant to be a you know a captured French merchantman. Nice detail on the back. So personally, when I paint this up, I'm not gonna go Hollywood when I paint it, but I will be painting it so it is visibly different from. The, uh, like kind of the regular six thread, just so if I'm using using, you know why, you know, I'll, I'll probably put a little, you know, Jolly Roger on the top there. It's cliche, but you know, it's it's cool at the same time. Um, Firelock do do, uh, um, downloadable and printable flags and pennants on their website. So don't even need need to design some. Just need to print them out and cut them out, glue them on. Um. Yeah, and then be able to feel the awesome Queen Anne's Revenge, who is only sixteen points, which is pretty amazing. I mean, again, both of these we've look. They've got really high um, broadside, but they're quite low on the fortitude. So they are they are glass cannons. There's no no argument to that, but they were built for speed. Um, come in, pound you, hope you you surrender, and then then uh take your stuff. But there we go. That is the Queen Anne's Revenge. That is the Blackbeard's Revenge expansion. Now this retails in the UK for about nineteen pounds. So you're looking at less than ten pound a ship. Um, obviously the sloop is decidedly smaller than um, Queen Anne's Revenge, so there is, you know, it wouldn't be a fifty fifty split for money, but um, you know, you, you look at more plastic there than you'd get on a twenty eight mil model. So, you know, for character models, you, yeah, you're about right. Um, you also get your cards, your tokens, all your counters, so. It is a worthwhile, worthwhile in my opinion, um, especially if you're a, a fan of like you know the greats like Blackbeard. So, speaking of fans of the greats, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. 
If you have, please leave a like and a comment below. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if this is something you're going to be picking up. Um, and while, you, while you're doing that, if you want to check out the our other Okanayan videos on the site, um, please do. We've covered unboxings of other expansions. We've um, Kevin and I have played a few played a, a game out the starter box. We're planning to put some more battles together in the future when you know we're allowed to meet in public and you know be normal human beings again. Um, uh, but hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, we will see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching.